Member for West Vancouver Capilano. Mr. Chair, um, we know that British Columbia is in a housing crisis and it's only getting worse. Um, it's such a difficult time for people here in British Columbia now, and I don't know who my colleagues on the other side of the house are speaking to, but everyone I talk to, every door you knock on, people are angry. They're mad about what is happening in this province, and they want change. Now, when we're talking about housing, um, there has been a storm of legislation brought in by this government, uh, but it's all been done in a time leading up to an election. So I'm wondering where this panic and urgency was prior to that for seven years. Uh, and much of that time, uh, the current Premier was the Minister of Housing. So what I call this flurry of uh, NDP housing legislation and whatever they want the plan to be called, um, it's everything, everywhere, all at once. But I doubt that the NDP will be winning an Academy Award for this. This past week, now, we began to see municipalities reporting on their six-month progress reports on the housing targets that were imposed on municipalities as part of the NDP's housing plan. We already know that the City of Vancouver is going to come up short, and if you think about that, it has significantly more resources than other municipalities in British Columbia. And resources are really one of the big challenges for municipalities trying to um, figure out how to make all of this new housing legislation fit together. Um, so in fact, of the first 10 municipalities to meet their targets, only one has, only the city of Victoria. Now, unless this BC government can control interest rates, although we know that they can certainly impact them with their debt, control interest rates, available labour, available land, the housing market, developers' timelines, and all the other factors that impact housing and construction sector, a six-month plan as an indicator of success towards a larger housing plan makes no sense. And I'm also hearing from developers and realtors is that there is so much confusion about all this new legislation, it has actually put projects on hold. And let's not forget that the NDP plays a role in this as well. One of the biggest complaints that I hear from developers is it takes two years to get a BC Hydro approval. So blaming municipalities for a housing crisis and not taking responsibility by this government who is really um, causing it is just simply hypocritical. Now, according to the NDP, when these housing targets were given out, if communities didn't meet these targets within six months, the province is going to appoint an independent advisor to help them make progress. And if that doesn't work, the province is just simply going to come in and overrule the municipality uh, with the power to just rezone neighbourhoods. But I hope the NDP have hired a lot of independent advisors, because I'm sure that will really speed things up. This is a prime example, Mr. Speaker, of a government that makes policy by news releases and polls and does not consider the impact or the ability for programs to be implemented. I also have to question the lack of focus on affordable housing for families when at least 60% of these targets is ge geared towards uh, studio suites and one bedrooms. So it's the single families or single parents and the families that I'm hearing from that are having the most challenge in finding housing. Uh, and when uh, we talk about a storm of housing policies, um, I told the minister, we talked about this in the last session, that this was going to be a challenge. We've got municipalities now who are not even accepting um, uh, applications for permitting or building permits because they're too busy redrafting all of their zoning bylaws to meet the June uh, 2024 requirement for doing that. And there's just simply not enough capacity. Um, We've also seen failures in supportive housing where residents aren't getting, you know, they're being left to fend for themselves without adequate supports and uh, for vulnerable people. But we'll look at the results here, Mr. Speaker, and the results speak for themselves. We have the highest housing costs in all of Canada. We have the worst homelessness in all of Canada. It's up 32% in Vancouver, 62% in Surrey. I mean, this is appalling. 
So for the members on the other side of the House to say, gee, look, we're doing such a fabulous job, it just simply is not borne out by the facts. This government has utterly failed in the last seven years on housing. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Member.